Just doing a video on my DCT500 Mazda RX-8 rotary engine compression tester. This tester uh, is printer enabled. The sensor is connected via a USB. When you turn it on, it'll do a barometer scan. And then it'll be ready for a test. Now when doing a test on a rotary engine, it's important that you disable your fuel and you disable your coils from firing. Now this is an RX-8 engine that I'm going to do a demonstration on. Uh, here's our sensor. The sensor just connects via your leading spark plug hole. Make sure you keep all other spark plugs in when you're doing this test. Um, obviously, if you pulled out the trailing trailing spark plug when you're doing a test, you're going to get zero compression because it's going to have a leak via that um, open spark plug. The only time you would take out a spark plug on the opposite housing is if you've got low crank speed because your starter motor is not great. You could pull um, your leading out on the other side um, to allow it to crank faster. Now, if you were doing that, that's one of the reasons it's extremely important to disable your spark because obviously if you're cranking and there's fuel coming out of there and you're still getting spark, you could actually have a fire in your engine bay. So the simplest way on an RX-8 engine is um, you've got your pickup for your um, ignition on the front pulley. Uh, you can just dis disconnect your, your crank, crank sensor on the front and that'll disable your spark. All right, I'll just start cranking engine. the results have come out on the printer and they're also displayed on the screen first it shows you your raw results then it shows you your normalized results and it'll finally show you your results in bar